We just had an absolutely massive blog update for Insight Infinite this month, guys, for October. And this blog update goes into a lot about the campaign, a little bit into customization and HUD elements as well. How you'll be able to organize your armor sets. Our favorite broody boy gets a makeover. And does this image reveal the classic Magnum for Halo returning? We'll stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? Welcome to the channel, the channel that keeps you up to date with everything going on with Halo. And we're gonna be talking about the Insight Infinite blog update that went live last night. And when I say that this blog is a massive one, I mean, this one is a big boy blog, pushing the other limits of what you expect out of this stuff. A lot of really cool screenshots, which we'll cover in this video, and some understanding of their design decisions within Halo Infinite as well, guys. So we're gonna cover all of this in a TLDR type of video, sticking mainly to as much gameplay related stuff as possible so if you guys like these news and informational kind of videos make sure you tap that like button let me know you want to see some more content like this and it greatly helps out the video and channel get a better place within that youtube algorithm if you want to stay up to date with everything going on with halo as a ramp up to the release of halo infinite which is almost like a month away pretty close to it make sure you tap subscribe so let's get right into the content here. So the first thing I want to talk about, guys, are the Spartan killers that are going to be in the campaign of Halo Infinite. In which we've already seen some of these Spartan killers already, like Jagger Redumni, we've seen in concept art, we've seen Tavares, we've also seen Hyperius as well mixed in there. And these Spartan killers are going to be like mini bosses, high value targets that you need to take out within the campaign of Halo Infinite. These Spartan killers are like an elite group of like badass high ranking baddies that you're going to need to take out while playing the campaign. We have our first render look of Tavares right here, which I mean, look at this boy. I mean, come on, this is so awesome. He looks to be holding on to a scrap cannon, which is a new weapon within Halo Infinite, which 343 revealed some concept art of the scrap cannon previously showcasing it off and that had a little bit of a description about what it does. Saying that early on, its nickname was the Gatling Mortar. Saying that hot metal being hurled at you from an uncomfortable distance while you're just trying to mind your own business and defend humanity? Well, too bad, too sad. Shouldn't have had made the brutes mad. So I'm wondering if this scrap cannon like takes like scrap and then melts it down and it ejects like a hot metal goo at people or something like that to kind of create like some AOE effect on the ground as well. That would be a really interesting new way to look at these mounted turrets within the world of Halo. Jaeger Redumna is one of those other Spartan killers as well. And this guy just looks so freaking cool. Like this guy like actually kind of like freaks me out a little bit. Like that campaign reveal, this guy looks absolutely insane. He has like fire eyes. He's mean and angry, he has two swords. Never fought against anybody with two swords and he can go invisible. And this guy's going to be pretty tough to beat. And we still haven't even seen Hyperius here shown in some concept art. This guy has literal Spartan fingers for a necklace like this guy is 100% proven to be a Spartan killer and looks like he even has like Locke's helmet right there on his shoulder pad as well so uh be kind of interesting to see how Hyperius comes into the campaign as well and take a look at our new beautiful boy Craig uh this is one hell of a glow up let me tell you even Xbox Twitter had to recognize this stated here how it started and how it's going I mean you can kind of see the difference yeah new Craig has one hell of a glow up, man. Here's an interesting class of brute where they specifically mentioned this one as a brute berserker. We saw this guy within the campaign trailer hurl that door right at Master Chief. Well, this is a brute berserker, which is kind of interesting because generally brutes have the ability to berserk if you crack their shields or something like that. But it seems like this brute in particular will be the ones that can berserk, which is taking away a mechanic from other brutes as well, which helps this brute stand out a lot more, give different kind of classes more unique game play opportunities though i don't know how much of a threat these guys are going to be because within the trailer master chief kind of gives them one big smack in the face and takes them out pretty easily here we have a look at the skimmer which is going to be not a replacement for the drones but kind of more just like a hovering kind of enemy type and within this blog they kind of confirm that it doesn't look like the drones will be coming back in halo infinite anytime soon at least because these skimmers kind of do what their namesake is where basically they just kind of hover above the ground and don't really like go too high up in elevation so like, like i said they're not a replacement for the drones stating right here they aren't full flying enemies but have hover packs to allow them to move around quickly and provide unique challenges and opportunities to the player while on foot or in a vehicle we didn't want to pursue a full flying enemy as we found in an fps flying enemies 
can get a little frustrating and disorienting as the player is forced to look up. Skimmers, like their namesake, move around by just skimming above the ground. We can't talk to many other specifics before release, but we're just beginning to scratch the surface of what the mysteries this ring holds. And that includes enemies. So yeah, when I hear this guys, it doesn't sound like drones will come back anytime soon. Now this very first image that they show within this blog update are just some Marines standing there looking high res, looking awesome right here. I love the way these Marines look. They look way better than the Halo 4 and 5 like hockey pad looking Marines that we had then. These guys look actual like sci-fi Marines that we would see in, potentially in the future at least. But there's one thing I really want to point out here guys is the sidearm that they have. Not, not the sidekick, not this thing right here. I'm talking this sidearm over here where if we zoom zoom in on it, it looks like an actual gun because this is definitely a holster, like a side holster you would see. Uh, this has a very familiar design, guys. As you can see, it has a two dot iron sight right here on the top, these grooves on the side, and it looks like to be some kind of hump at the front of the weapon. To me, you know what this looks like? To me, this looks like the M6D Classic Magnum from Halo Combat Evolved. Now, this is also like a tinfoil hat theory, guys, because we obviously don't get a full look at this weapon here, guys. But the one things I want to point out are definitely, like I said, like the iron sights right here, the two dot iron sights right here. You have these grooves on the side and if you look at, at the bottom of the handle of the gun right it kind of goes straight up and then it has a bit of an upwards angle you know it also has that the freaking magnum as well as you can see right here kind of a flat cut and then kind of cuts upward obviously we don't see the magazine that sticks out at the bottom of this thing uh, probably because it's not even loaded with this character. But this isn't the first time 343 has referenced the M60 Magnum, which I brought this up in a previous video, guys. This is from the official cosplay of Halo Infinite for our Mark 7. And this description in the upper right really gives something interesting to look at. Saying sidearm security, the thigh armor can also be a potential spot to mount a weapon holster, letting you keep your M6D Magnum or MK50 psychic close at hand. Now we've had plenty of different types of pistols and different magnums throughout Halo, but why I mentioned the M60 specifically? I mean, I think it really shows that we're looking for this to come back in Halo Infinite. Now they have a whole section dedicated to UI. It's a lot of philosophy and design decision kind of stuff, but nothing really new to talk about that's gameplay related. But in this image, this is our first time getting a chance to see the armor core selections in game. Because we do know with armor cores, you won't be able to mix and match between the different cores. Each armor core has its own specific armor set, which I actually kind of like about the organization of that. That. and it looks like we can hold up to four different types of armor cores we can just quickly swap between. Showcase here within the skip, you can see four bars on the bottom. Obviously that's early development kind of stuff, but it looks like you have, you have about four cores you can have ready on the fly for selection. Uh, we'll see how that plays out as we go more into the post-launch stuff support of Halo Infinite. I'm sure we all remember those Marines that got yeeted off the edge of a mountain, guys, and we pretty, pretty much figured that they would have died. They confirmed here that they actually lived through that fall, which kind of actually talks a little bit about how fall damage will work within Halo Infinite. Stating here, saying, yes, the Marines, Chief, and the Hog all made it out unscathed. This is from the live broadcast producer who helped put that whole thing together. The reason why I bring up fall damage because within Halo Infinite, we have a sense of scale we've never had before within the franchise. I mean, just look at this. This is gonna be an area you'll be able to get up to and can you just like jump off of this down to here without like having any damage whatsoever? Because traditionally in Halos, once you reach terminal velocity for a few seconds, the game just automatically kills you because they figure, okay, you've been falling for too long. That's not designed in the game. Now they are in a Warhog. So could that Warhog jump actually make it so then you can actually land with it would be totally fine which hell of a suspension for the warthog but say you made this jump on foot from top of this ledge which you will be able to get that up there in this game and jump all the way down to here I mean that's a hell of a jump but I mean you're master chief so possibly it could work we'll just have to wait and see so that was all the good stuff within this blog, guys. I'll leave a link in the description of this video if you want to go through and read everything about it. This is a very lengthy blog, but very interesting to read through as well. But if you're new to the channel or missing any content from me recently, check out this playlist right here for everything Halo news related with uploading daily about. Thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.